Welcome to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Jenna McEwen, and on today's show we are at Kasagami Wilderness Lodge, a beautiful fly-in location situated in Kasagami Provincial Park. We're going to be fishing for huge northern pike and amazing walleye. It's going to be a great show and we're going to show you a ton of different techniques, so stay with us. That is amazing. There's a take. Oh, nice. The power. All right. The new fly fisher is made possible in partnership with Destination Ontario, Northeastern Ontario Tourism, Orvis Fly Fishing, Trout Unlimited, Rio Products, Oscar Blues Brewery, Global Rescue, Adipose Boatworks, WeatherTech Canada. There are a few things that get me as excited as the potential of catching northern pike, which is one of the reasons why I was so excited for my trip to Kasagami Wilderness Lodge. Located in Kasagami Provincial Park in northeastern Ontario, this fly-in location is situated on some of the most incredibly pristine landscape in the province. If the beauty of the wilderness isn't enough, there is also phenomenal fishing. The opportunity to catch trophy walleye and monster northern pike has anglers eager to return year after year, which is why this lodge has been famous for over 40 years. Uh, yeah, the history of uh, Kasagami is actually, it goes quite a long ways back. It was first established in 1960 as the first land use permit by uh, Sinclair Chichu from the Moose Cree First Nation. Uh, along the way, it's gone through uh, several ownership changes, and ironically, it's actually owned by the Moose Cree again. I think they've owned it for the last eight years and uh, dumped a lot of money into uh, building uh, new cabins and lots of improvements, as, as we continue to do every year. I love Northern Ontario because the, the, the wilderness, the, the serenity, unplugging from a civilization uh, just provides an unbelievable experience here. And it's, it's refreshing and um, rejuvenating. While this is my first trip to Kasagami Wilderness Lodge, the new fly fisher has been here before. Fish on, oh yeah. Both Bill Spicer and my father, Colin McEwen, have been guests at the lodge over the past decade and had incredible experiences catching massive northern pike and walleye. And there we go. Typical pike caught here are 30 to 38 inches. He's not liking this hook. Oh. Your hand. Oh. Oh. Thick fish. Isn't that beautiful? Kasagami has even had pike over 50 inches landed, all usually in water less than eight feet deep. One of the reasons why Kasagami has such outstanding fishing is their unique catch and release policy. Manager Charlie McDonald explained more about this. Well, at uh, Kasagami, or the, the people that book into Kasagami Lodge uh, have a very uh, progressive uh, and conservation-minded set of regulations. Uh, for our guests, uh, well, we've been catch and release for 25 years now, which is probably the longest of, out of most Ontario lodges. Um, we're single barbless hook. Uh, we're catch and release completely on all pike because we know even a small pike is going to become a trophy and uh, selective harvest on the walleye so you can keep one or two fish every day for shore lunch but everything else goes back and nothing goes home and i mean that's why we have such a such a phenomenal fishery after hearing all the stories i couldn't wait to get out on the water and experience the magic myself
We were lucky to have the opportunity to work with several guides throughout our trip. Today, we are working with Jake Pollowin, who took us to some different locations on the lake to fish for walleye on the fly. I was glad to have Jake guiding me, as the weather that day was going to swing between bright sunny conditions and possibly rainy showers. Without experiencing much success at the first few spots we fished, Jake decided to bring us to a gravel shoal not too far from the main lodge. So, we've come to a new location and you mentioned this is more gravel, right? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about the fishing on this, this spot near this island here? Sure, so it's a gravel bar that goes out, you know, 100 meters out that way to the east. And it drops off from two to four feet and we're just fishing that edge. It's nice because there aren't many snags down there. But the depth change is what attracts the fish for sure. Perfect. Nice Fish. stack of walleye. Okay. Good job. Woo. Okay, so we're off this island here and it's gravel mostly on the bottom. I'll bring this up for you. Are you ready? Yep. That's a beauty. That's a gorgeous walleye, man. 24. 24, I'd have to say, I think that's the biggest walleye I've ever caught. That's a beauty, do you wanna hold it? Okay. Woo! Nice walleye. Beautiful. After a long morning out on the water searching for big fish, I was starving. Luckily, Jake came prepared with all the necessities for an amazing shore lunch. We ended up joining a group of guests who graciously invited us to join them for lunch. There truly is nothing as delicious as a shore lunch. The combination of fresh fish, hot food, and great company makes for one of my all-time favorite meals. Over lunch, I had the chance to speak with one of the guests about why he loves to return to Kasagami Wilderness Lodge. The best part of the fishing throughout the week, uh, obviously ton, tons of big pike here, uh, but, the, but the, the, the most fun that we have is, is when we hit a big school of fish. You know, we end up uh, you know, with three, four boats uh, at, on, on the same point catching you know, fish after fish after fish. And uh, you know, it's, uh, whenever we end up back home, those are the stories that, that we end up talking about. Those are the best days. Many people do not realize that you can catch walleye on a fly, especially on a fly fishing friendly lake like Kasagami. Here, the average depth is six to seven feet, and it is relatively easy to catch walleye with a streamer pattern. My father said it best about the walleye fishing. Yeah, I got one. All right. It's funny, as soon as uh, I'm trying different retrieves right now, as soon as I slow down my retrieve, I get walleye as it gets close to the bottom. It's actually not a bad size one. If you find the walleye, you're gonna find the pike because the pike are in here predating on these fish. And there's lots of them. And this is probably about, what, 16, 18 inches. There you go. It's a nice fish. Good eating size. Eh? If you wanted to keep a couple for a shore lunch. But this lake is just filled with the walleye, which is why the pike here gets so big because there's so much food for them. After our wonderful shore lunch, I went out with another guide, Pac McHenry, who took me to a spot before sunset that's known to hold lots of nice walleye. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is a rock shoal. We call it Small Bay Point. It's a uh, about a six foot drop off, just past the buoy line here. Back in the bay is all pencil reeds. Then this shoal continues out quite a ways, but we find the fish really stack up on this point. Nice. Oh, nice one. Oh, the walleyes, here we go. That's a decent fish. Thank you. 
Nice, popped right out. There it goes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Eager to get back in the water. I'm getting a hit virtually every cast. They're definitely a little bit more active than they were earlier today, even this morning. Fish. That was a nice hit, wow. It's great how this shoal is really marked by the buoy so you know exactly where to go. Nice. Oh, nice fish. <laughs> this one's excited. He really took that bait. I'm gonna have to get my pliers for that one. Perfect, thank you. Oof. Boy, was Pat right. As soon as the sun started to set, the fish were on. I could barely make a cast without hooking into a walleye. It was absolutely incredible. On. Woo. Ho. Oh. That's a decent sized walleye. Yeah, beautiful. Oh my goodness. Seventeen and a half. That's a pretty good size. Close too. Yeah, nice. Gorgeous. Sorry about the drop, buddy. Kasagami Wilderness Lodge is known not only for its incredible fishery, but also for exceptional accommodations and service. Uh, we've got two types of accommodations here. We have seven guest cabins. They've got a beautiful new bathhouse that they use for their facilities. And then we have 10 motel style rooms where everybody has their own private bathroom. Mother Nature doesn't always cooperate, and this trip was no exception. A bout of wind, rain, and cold temperatures in the morning made finding active fish a bit of a challenge. Thankfully, the weather began to clear up in the afternoon, and our guide for the day, Colin Harkinon, brought us to a great location for Northern Pike and told me a bit about how to choose the best fly for the spot. Adjust to the conditions, you know, the wind. Make sure you're... Uh you know, fishing uh, in the right areas where the wind's going. I find that's one of the biggest factors here for fly fishermen anyways, is, and fisherwomen, is, uh, you know, to follow these, the bait fish and follow the wind, and, because that's where all the, the bigger fish are gonna follow behind, right? So, uh, especially in a shallow lake like that, the wind can be such a big factor in uh, determining where these fish are going to be. Yeah, that's a fish. <laughs> so we're just off a rocky point here and it's quite shallow on average, about six feet in depth. And um, I keep getting caught on weeds, which is very normal when you're fishing weed beds like this. I didn't even realize at first that I'd hooked one and then I was like, wait a second, was that a head shake? Mm -hmm. That. Seems to be an all right fish, eh? I keep tension on the line, but if he wants to run, I don't want to force him in and snap the fly out of his mouth. That's a much bigger fish than I was expecting. Got it. <laughs> nice job. I am blown away. Man, that is a nice fish and just wasn't a super hard take, like I mentioned. I, I kind of thought it was a, a reed at first, but it kicked. And Look at that, man, eh? that's a gorgeous fish. Oh, that's what you come here for. That's what gets your blood pumping. Right there. That is a 39. 39-inch. Not bad. That is... Beautiful Kasagami Northern. Gorgeous. Gorgeous northern, eh? Awesome fish. <sighs> Man, what? It's, the fish here are just so big and they, they fight well even when the take isn't super aggressive. They're gonna take your line when they're fighting and getting them in the boat. Man, great experience. 
I'm super amped to get the flies back in the water. For Let's sure. stay around here. This seems to be a really good area. Thank you. Sounds like a plan. Awesome. The leader and tippet system I like to use for big pike is simple. A six foot length of stiff and heavy mono in the 30 to 40 pound test range is used to help turn over big flies. To this, I attach an 18 to 24 inch piece of knotable bite wire. The new wire leaders available today are easy to tie with, even in the 30 to 40 pound class. For this trip, I came prepared with two different setups that would work for both northern pike and walleye. I was using both a nine or eight weight rod with fast actions. For fly lines, I recommend a sink tip line and also a weight forward floating line. The floating line will be what we use 70% of the time here at Kasakmi because the fish are usually shallow. The fly patterns that worked well here at Kasagmi included red and white whistler, black and orange murdich minnow, tan and white murdich minnow, perch murdich minnow, When my father and Bill Spicer came to Kasagami, they both had great success catching many large pike in waters three to six feet in depth. Most of the fish were 35 to 40 inches in length. Plus they landed some real monsters too. Fish on, oh yeah. Yeah. Gotta keep a tight line on them. It's been a tough day. We've had high sun and just now, the clouds have moved in. Okay, I'm gonna try to lead them over. This is a darker fish than I got the other day. Good man, good. Woo! Okay. Nice, nice fish. Now they fight very well, very well. Good and healthy, nice fish. Man. And away he goes. <laughs> well, he, he didn't like the camera. That's what it was. He didn't like the camera. <laughs> oh, what a great spot. What a great spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fish on, fish on. Oh, yeah. He's going for, now he's in, on my reel. I didn't even have to get him on the reel. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wowee. Oh yeah. Now when these things hit, they sometimes run right at you. And it feels like you got a small fish. That's what I thought at first. Then all of a sudden they turn and run. And then you know they're a big fish. Oh. Wow, he is strong, or she is strong. Oh, there we go, look at, oh yes. Oh man, look at the fins. Look at the fins. Stewart's gotta try to control the boat so I can fight the fish properly. A little windy. Little on the windy side, oh boy. <laughs> look at that tail. Huge tail. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good job. Nice fish. Yes, yes. Bill, I've been trying to catch this fish for two years. You're kidding me. <laughs> I can get guests to throw at it all the time. It'll come up, hit it, won't, won't ever hook. You got it this time. <laughs> all right. It's about time. <laughs> Barbless hooks. Every time. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice fish. Oh man. Look at this, people. Look at this. <laughs> 47 inches he may measure to that. My goodness. Fish the weed lines. Fish in the slop. This is where this baby was. Beautiful. <laughs> Fish on. Boy, that was just a boom, boom. Wow, this feels pretty good. 
Now, like I say, as I sit down, I let a little line out as I raise my rod up. And then just like a crane, you can draw your line to yourself, grab it, and pull your walleye out. And nice little walleye. Lots of fun. Generally, when you find them, you find lots of them. Gotta love it. I've never met a fish I didn't like. Never met one. <laughs> lots of fun. Oh. The sun had come out and Robert recommended we try a new weed line. As always, his valued knowledge helped me locate the biggest fish of the trip. How's she feel? Uh, feels pretty good. Yeah? It's hard to tell how big he is, so yeah. it's, it's quite an explosion. Awesome. He's going out into deeper water, which is typical of the bigger fish. <laughs> So he's just inside the edge of these lily pads. And out here, we've got cabbage. Look at that. Look how far out he's gone. Oh. <laughs> Look at that bulge. <laughs> What's incredible about the fish here, unlike pike and other places, how thick they are. They obviously eat very well. They've got good genetics. There he comes. Come on, baby. Come to Robbie. Come to Robbie. Come to Robbie. Oh, yes, right. baby. Oh, big Look baby. baby. Look, Look at that, at that fish. Look at that hog. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Look at that. Beautiful 41 female. Inch. Look at the girth on that baby. Okay. Let's see, what, 20 pounds, 25 pounds? Yeah, okay, 20 to 25. There. That's precious, that. Look at that, eh? Look at that. Good job. Good job well done. Unfortunately, I did not do as well as Bill or my dad on this trip due to unseasonably cold weather. That's a fish. But hey, that's fishing. <laughs> However, the fishing is usually great here, and I'm sure to have more success on my next visit. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the water soon. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Now we're putting up brand new videos all the time. So if you want to be notified when a new one goes up, click that bell icon and it'll come to you as soon as it's uploaded. The new Fly Fisher is made possible in partnership with Destination Ontario, Northeastern Ontario Tourism, Orvis Fly Fishing, Trout Unlimited, Real Products, Oscar Blues Brewery, Global Rescue, Adipose Boatworks, WeatherTech Canada.